Hello and welcome to Brawl Jewel. This time we have Tavern Games, mini games in Skyrim. This comes from the same author that created the Battle of Heroes mini game that we covered a few months ago. This time he's back with a collection of games that can be played at any tavern in the world of Skyrim, and those added by DLC like Falskar or Somerset. The games take a top down view similar to the mini games in the Witcher and Fable series. There's five games in total, some use dice, others use cards. Some require entirely luck, while others need a bit of skill. All of them are relatively simple and only take a minute or two to play, but we think they add a bit of fun to the world. First up is the lottery. As you probably expect, this lets you buy a lottery ticket from any tavern owner. Think of it more like a scratch card, where you have a small chance of buying a winning ticket. Then if you win, you can hand the ticket back to the owner and receive a random prize. You could get a high priced wine, a spell tome or a tavern card worth some free visits. So overall it's just a bit of fun and a good way to spend any of that extra gold lying around. We'd like it if it was a bit more in depth, for example the tickets could have a bit more than just text on it. Maybe it could be a 3 in a row ticket, and then let's say you get 3 spell tomes in a row, then you get a random spell tome. The next game is the Battle of Heroes. This is definitely the most complex of the new games, and you even have the potential to cheat. We've already covered this in a spotlight, so instead of covering the entire thing again, we'll just link to it down below. The next game is Dice Jack. This is a dice game that's similar to the card game Blackjack. The rules are simple, one person rolls two dice, then the number rolled is multiplied by three to provide the maximum score. Then you flip a coin, if it's heads you roll first, and if it's tails the NPC rolls first. The aim of the game is to roll the dice to get as close to the maximum score as possible. If you go over the limit, you automatically lose and have to pay double the bet. However, if you decide to stick and then lose because the other person was closer, you only pay the initial bet. So basically, it's a game of risk. So as you can see in this example, the maximum score is 24 and it was a tails, so Uthgerd rolled first. She rolled a 9, then rolled again for a 6, so she was at 15. Then she decided to roll again, and unluckily got a 10, so she went over the max amount and automatically lost. Overall, it's quite a bit of fun. Again, there's potential for it to be built on. When Uthgerd stood up after that game, we thought she was about to start brawling us after losing, which in hindsight would be a pretty fun feature if there's a small chance for it to happen. The next game is called the Daedra Challenge. This is a board game similar to Snakes and Ladders. This is probably the most bare bones of all the games, just because the rules are so simple and it doesn't come with the same level of interactivity as the other games. Playing is mostly done for you, both players roll two dice and then move their pointers across the board. If you land on an arrow you get sent to the tile it's pointing to, however if you land on a skull you're required to answer a question. If you get it wrong then you're sent back to the start, but if you get it right then you continue playing. The winner is the first person to reach the centre. And finally the last one is another dice game by the name of Prophet's Dice. This is a game of probability and it's similar to the card game higher or lower. First you roll two dice and then you have to decide whether the other player will roll a number lower, higher or equal to yours. Then if you're right you win the bet. It's very simple but somehow quite addictive too. Overall, five simple games that put a refreshing spin on the inns of Skyrim. If you add something like lively inns and taverns to the list, you can create a really energetic and interactive tavern environment. If you're interested in giving it a go, you can find everything you need down below. Always be sure to leave endorsements on any mods you enjoy. And if you're in between playthroughs then you can check out d2a.com for some cheap games. And as always, thanks for watching.